think we're not tall enough. So we're pulling out the other set of candlesticks. <laughs> No, hey Tammy, how are you, sweetie? There we go. I think that's better. Okay, let me move this out of the way because that's not where we want to start. We'll start with what I did yesterday, which I showed it in a short. This is just my glue book, my journal book. So, this is what I did. Oh, it's it's pretty warm here, too. We're running airs. Uh, anyway, I drew this and colored it in with oil pastels. Uh, not before last, I think. What's the date on it? It's say 515. So, yeah, not before last. And, uh, and then I did the painty pages. And I cut some things out of magazines. I did some embossing with my heat gun some scruggles with my gel markers so anyway uh, this is just a book for me to just do for me so and then this is the one I did the day before let's see I think I did it the day before I really need to date these and then this is how it started and this is how I made it the outside of it so the outside ain't as pretty as I'd like it. So let me show you what I started out with this morning. <laughs> so in my in my room, in my bedroom, I have a recliner, have a sitting area, and I sit there and watch people craft and 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 I draw. I try to draw while I'm sitting there. So I have my a drawing. I have this book. It's a Target book. But I added some more signatures in it, and I have a few things that I've already drawn. Uh, flowers, that one I put in upside down. I'm notorious for putting things in upside down. Mm -hmm. I have one in my journal here that I put in upside down. I've been practicing on birds. Uh, this was me practicing trying to draw cherry blossoms. And I've showed y'all the painting I did of cherry blossoms. That's some more just loosey goosey stuff. So I just try to draw a little bit nearly every day. So um, anyway, but on Saturday nights, um, I watch this channel called Beth Schuler, and they do they play bingo. And after each letter is, you make your own bingo card. And after each letter is called, we do a art prompt. And so I made me a journal just to keep in my room it's i mean it's kind of crude but uh, uh this these are the you make your own bingo card we only play the numbers one to 50 uh anyway but uh, uh and then these are the art projects you do and that they do like it'll call for glue and stuff and all that and i didn't have glue in there but i've made me a little box in there to keep in there so let's see, uh, I got here, there's another, this is the a bingo card we played, uh, bingo, bingo, and then this is a picture I done last Saturday night while we were doing it. See, we had to glue pieces of a book page, we had to glue words on, we had to draw a mountain, we had to draw a flower, we were supposed to glue on buttons, so I just drew my buttons, <laughs> And then we had to make random marks. We had to make a monster. And uh, I have yetis on my mountain. <laughs> so I have two yetis on my mountain. So uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think. Oh, and we had to draw a border on it. You had to put a border on at least one side. Um, so just, just me. Just playing. So, but uh, because the craft sale is coming up soon. I wanted to make another I wanted to make another journal to sell. And so this is a cloth journal. You can hear it crinkly. It's got a big yellow bubble envelope in it. This is the cutoff from it. 
so it's got bubbles in it so i guess if you're really stressed you can pop your bubbles so let's see if you can pop a bubble yeah you can pop a bubble <laughs> so anyway so i haven't decided what i'm going to put on the front and i am going to put some black lace down the thing because if you've never sewed uh signatures in on cloth it's really hard because it's hard to get it's just hard <laughs> it's it's totally different than sewing them through on cardboard so this one has a handle to wrap around it and i didn't put any kind of fastener i think i'm just gonna fasten it with a bulb although i do have let's see what i did with that hmm. I had it laying right here. Did I pick it up and put it away? Yeah, it's not there no more. I'm going to say I did have a really cute white safety pin that might look cool on it. But anyway, but I'm, I am going to put black lace on the, on the, on the edges. And so, um, this one, when I get ready to sell it, this one is going to be 28. And you're like, well, the last one you sold was 22 and it's, just as naked as that one because these are naked journals but here's the difference this one has three signatures in it so this is the back this is the front so i've got to get something on it to indicate the front and you would think that would be the front but i put the signatures in wrong <laughs> but anyway so here we go so we have pockets and these are pockets that are made out of my master board that I done with the 1917 uh, catalog pieces. So the ladies are from the 1917 catalog. We have music. We have an upside down airmail postcard. I got it in upside down. These are my painty papers that I did that uh, a few week, well, a few months ago actually. So there's painty papers. This is a coffee dyed paper, not a good one. Uh, we have a hymnal. We have a piece of this wedding paper. We have a piece of this specialty paper, like it's got like leaves in it. We have a list piece. This is the back side of a painting paper. We have an envelope. And so then you've got the other half of all the other pages. And we'll go to the next one. This is one of my painting pages. This is another one of the um, pieces from my uh, master board. There's the wedding paper. I absolutely love this wedding paper. When I run out of it, I'm going to be sad. Another. These are these are um, from a songbook that is. Um, what is it called? Gaelic music? What 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 is the word I'm looking for? Anyway, there's a postcard that is upside the right way. Specialty papers. Another painty page. That's a pretty one. So we have some things in here. Wedding paper. It's actually wrapping paper, gift wrap paper. It is gift wrap paper that is for weddings. It's embossed. It's white for weddings. It's gift wrap paper. So let me show you. Let me show you something. Well, hold on just a second. Here we go. Here are my cutoffs. Let me grab. Something small here. I'm looking for something small. There. This one. I don't know what color it is. See how it's embossed? It's got an embossed print on it. So it's beautiful. And that paper didn't have that. That one didn't have a lid on it. I wonder what the lid is to it. Let's do this really pretty light rose one. Oh, that's pretty. So whoever got it could emboss the paper. I mean, they could take a marker and go over it and emboss it. So 
anyway there we go so these are little scrap pieces that are left over from it and i probably will just stick them in the catalog in the thing so this is the second one isn't it there we go emboss music postcard specialty paper painting page him coffee dyed paper the rest of the list <laughs> had a bunch of a list uh they all got a red envelope in them so and then the back and then and there's 10 10 pages in each 10 pages in each um uh, signature so and then this is the last one and it's got a slide pocket and R low 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 oh, I don't know what that means anyway it, it says copyright 2001 by Hal Leonard Corporation Irish folk song is what it is anyway painty papers uh wedding paper postcard hymnal specialty paper coffee dyed painting papers actually this one is done with alcohol inks uh sprayed and then a lot of marks on top of it but this is done with alcohol inks uh coffee dyed envelope and then all the way through and then in the back uh, <laughs> I got it upside down and put the put the first pocket on the wrong place so i glued this over it to you can see a piece where i pulled it off a little piece of pink because the back side of these are pink and i'm going to show you the rest of these but i did sign it uh handmade just for you by cindy levin but i also put my heart on it on the actual fabric so um anyway so that's one one of the other things I've worked on today. So that makes three projects I've did. And then I cut up my master board, guys. And um, you saw the three journal card, journal paid, uh, journal pockets. And I've got, let's see, two bookmarks. Two bookmarks. I tried not to cut their faces, but there are some places their faces got cut. And I stitched around them. Y'all know I like to stitch around things. And then we got one, two, three, four, five tags. And I don't know how we ended up with five. There should have been six, I think. But somehow I've ended up with five tags. I think that that may be right. There may be an, a sixth one floating around here. But I think I ended up with five so anyway so i think that's what i've done and jude i'm going to send you a few of these because uh you're the one that gave me the 1917 catalog so i'm going to send you a few of them so anyway so yeah i've been a crafty crafty girl today so now i have to clean up my office so it's clean again and uh yeah but i've sewed in let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven signatures today. I am not that fond of sewing signatures. <laughs> so anyway, but they're sewed in now. So I need to put all my clippies up and my pieces of fabric. I don't know what. I'm going to save them to do something with. So anyway, see, this one would make a real pretty cover to go on the back of a tag I mean like I could glue it on the back yeah only it would have been nice to have been glued on before you sewed it down but it, it can do that so I can I can uh, put it on or I can actually put these pieces of fabric in uh, in a master board I could so because there isn't well you know there might be enough to do one small one there probably is enough to do one more small journal so I may do a real little one yeah I think I'll do a small one and put it up too for the craft sale so anyway uh, yeah that's what I've been doing so tomorrow I have no plans to do anything go anywhere all my shipping has been shipped it's been taken to the postage uh, everybody's paid except for the ones that asked to pay 
towards the end of the week. All of them are paid. So, uh, yeah, everything's ready except for those. Well, those won't even ship out because they're the one. Some of the people that ask me to hold their stuff for a week. So, yeah. Or two. So, anyway, trying to think what else I need to do. What else I need to what? Feel free to baby you tomorrow? Pshaw, you've been babied enough for the last four weeks. I'm over it. So, anyway. Um, so, I guess tomorrow I will work... Oops, there went a uh, piece. I will work on getting my... Um, all of my ATCs sent out because we're doing the ATC swap, so... Anyway, so I guess I will work on that. Uh, I have these. These are the ATCs. If you haven't seen them, this is what we're looking at. Artist trading cards. I need to sign them all. I really like this one that I put the word hope on. I really like it. I think I may keep it for me and stick it in my Bible. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Actually, I'm going to put it right there so to go to my room. So, anyway, if you do not know this, <laughs> so this new journal doesn't have any yet, but uh, I suspect before it goes up on the cell block, it will have some. Uh, I have a thing about words. I really like for all of my art to have words. <laughs> so, anyway, here we go. We'll slide these out of the way. Y'all have seen them, and I think most of you have seen these. So, oh, that one says yes. <laughs> Dave says yes to me like that all the time. Yes. So, anyway, I don't even know how many I made the other day. I think 18. Oops, I dropped one. Oh, guess what? There is number six tag <laughs> in the floor. Under my feet. So the words that are on these. Uh, some of them came from sticker packs. And some of them. Came from rub-ons. And if you think the letters look a little weird on this one. Uh, I missed the end of the H. And I had to add it with my gold marker. But some of them are quotes that I found online. Like this one says, and softly through the altered air hurries a timid leaf. And I put them on the ones that have leaves. So there are a bunch of leaf quotes. So. And then on this one, I put all that glitters is not gold. Note to self, never leave home without glitter. Those are some of the glittery ones. I put glitter quotes too. What I lack, I loved this one. What I lack in brilliance, I may, I'm more than makeup for in glitter. <laughs> so I thought that was a cute one. That was a quote from a very good looking man. The picture of him was very nice. He was very handsome. handsome. This one says, every, every, re, every leaf speaks bliss to me. It's hard to read upside down. When you're in doubt, glitter it out. And that was a quote from Barbie. Not our Barbie, but Barbie the Barbie. It was on on something. Anyway, I guess the Barbie movie or something like that. Anyway, so fun glittery cards. I've got to get them all ready and get them in the mail. So, yep. I, and I don't. I have glitter everywhere and I don't like glitter. But it's not supposed to be glitter. It's supposed to be embossing powder. But it got the evil properties of glitter. <laughs> so this glittery kind does. But I do like that glittery. And then I have these little cards left. And I'm not really sure what I want to do with these. But they may get put on a... Um, they may get put on a uh, master board. Those are the cutoffs. Now that one is is almost big enough to make a little bitty tag. So let's see, is there anything else in here that I've made 
Oh, wait. I made these too just recently, in fact. That's a I cut that. That's aluminum foil. I cut it out with my hole punch. So I made these out of out of uh, manila folders. And they're made also with some of the 1917 catalog. See? She's got her little slip on. And that one is made with a beetle. And then I really like this one setting on the little circles. So I have been quite crafty this month. Quite, quite crafty. And uh, let's see. Hold on. And I cut out a bunch of these. <clears throat> I have a, a die cut that cuts out tags. And I just cut out a bunch of these. <coughs> that I will uh, probably include in some, some of the journals that I have. Let's see. That's sandpapers. I didn't make sandpaper. And I made that. Did Were y'all here when I showed this? Hi, Billy. Billy, I made a new journal today. <laughs> so, I don't know if you missed it. I don't know if y'all were here when I was playing with that dollar and a quarter die from Dollar Tree. But I want to tell y'all something funny about this dollar and a quarter die. Uh, the other day, I was going through my drawer that has all my die cuts in it. And uh, I have two of them. <laughs> I already had one and I bought another one. So, anyway. Oh, and I made this, too. This is a envelope journal. And, look, I used a, a pretty border punch on it. So, and this is a, a, a bluey-gray color. So, I need to put something pretty on the front of it. Just so it looks nice. What is that? Anyway, so, yeah. I have been a busy beaver today, and actually this month, crafty-wise, uh, I have not found a whole lot of stuff to, <laughs> a, a whole lot of stuff to, like, you know, just like supplies. I haven't found a whole lot of those, but I haven't looked for a lot. Uh, anyway. Oh, and that don't even count all the silly pictures I've painted, so... Anyway, and, and the rose, I, th I really was real pleased with this. But I will just tell you, oh, you want to see it? This, this one will be for sale. This is the front of it. This one will be for sale. It's a, it's a fabric one. It's crinkly and makes noise. And then we, it's got three, three signatures in it. And this is a pocket from my master board. And, yes, it has this one upside-down page in it. But I'm just going to leave it in there so y'all will know that I'm not perfect. <laughs> anyway, it's got my painty pages in it. Quite a few of my painty pages. Uh, painty page. Sec that's the second journal, uh, signature. Third signature. And I made sure to sign this one. I stamped it with the heart, and then I stamped it with my handmade by. So, anyway, that's not a pocket, but that is a pocket. And these have pockets on each front of each signature. So, yeah. So, anyway, this one I'm going to sell in the craft sale for 28. Hopefully, I sell it in the craft sale for 28. It's not done. I'm going to make a pocket of some kind to go on the front, and I'm going to put black lace down the spine of it to cover where my stitching is not great where i sewed in the signatures i'm gonna put a, a black uh, not a black i'm gonna put black lace there i'm gonna put some kind of pocket on it i haven't decided exactly what but it's going to be something i glue on so and then today i made this for my bingo journal just for me to play bingo with i play bingo on a channel on um uh, Saturday night, and then this is my drawing journal. I did this. I put this together. Actually, this is a just a little book that came from Target, and it already had like 
eight pages in it. And so I put some more, another, I sewed another signature in it and sewed in the pages that I've already drawn on. Uh, I keep this by, I had a whole stack of papers, okay? Um, there, they were 11 by 14s and they were, they sat on my little table in my room. And so uh, I draw, I just pick them up and draw things on them. And then I take a picture and show Jude. And then Jude tells me they're very nice. She fibs to me and tells me they're very nice. Anyway, because I, I, I'm not a good drawer. Uh, anyway, but I like to draw. <laughs> anyway, and so then uh, I sewed them in. So I have was practicing on birdies. These are my cherry blossoms that I've been working on. And there's some more that I did in color. And there's some just loosey goosey flowers. So uh, I made those. You do not fib. Anyway, and then I, I'm loving my glue book. So these will go to my room. What did I do with, I don't know, what did I do with my face card? No, not face. What did it say? Well, I've knocked it somewhere. It's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. My hope card. So this is my card that says hope. That it is one of my ATCs. And I'm going to take it and put it in my Bible. So these will sit under my Bible. On my little card. Now, I want to show y'all something. Uh, I'm trying to think what I have that would work to do it. Anyway, this is my glue book. I don't know that I have what I, what I need to do what I'm thinking about. I may have to go to Dollar Tree and buy something. But this is just, I mean, this is for me to do my bright and crazy colors because if you don't know this, I like bright and garish colors. Now, I did draw this, paint this. What would you call this? I did this with oil pastels. And uh, if her eyes look really white and really droopy, uh, it's because I got gray in them. And then I put white gel marker, paint marker over them. So anyway, what I like about oil pastels is you can take your finger and just blend them. So anyway, I really like it. And towards the end, I was so dirty, I ended up taking a... Um, paper towel and blended them and they blended real well so I thought you know what that's the first oil pastel I've ever done I should put it in my glue book so and it went and then I cut a bunch of pictures out of magazines yesterday and I cut three dogs and a goat so the goat will show up probably pretty soon I need to I need to prime my next page this is just Guys, these are just catalogs, you know, that you get. This one is from Woman Within. So, they're just catalogs. I've glued the pages together, and we're going to work from there. What have I stuck down in there? Oh, <laughs> it's one of my paint cards. It's a, actually, it's a, a something from Dave's old insurance. So, I spread paint with it. It got stuck in the papers. So, anyway, so I have a whole bunch of pages to do. So, Anywho, that's what I've been doing this week. Just me and artsy fartsy all the way around. So tomorrow we'll artsy fartsy again. <laughs> so rinse, repeat, rinse, lather, repeat. So you think I'm a good drawer? So anyway, I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I put these in upside down because I really wanted it to go like this. And my fastener to go like that. I don't want to reattach it because I don't want to, but I might. I just might reattach it to the front so it goes like this. See, because I think it would be real cool to re to attach and be this the front and put the bulb thing on it. But when you if you do it like that, everything's going to be upside down. So. I probably will reattach it. So, anyway, such is life. So I wanted to share all this stuff with y'all that I've been doing. So this here is my 
bucket of ephemera style stuff that I finish up as I finish up it gets thrown in so I don't know I know I showed you this let's see I think no that's not what I'm looking at yeah there okay so we had to do the prompt was you had to use a mushroom you had to use a mermaid and you had to use a mushroom and a mermaid, I believe it was. And so, I found a picture of a baby, those baby mermaid crocheted things, and I put my, put I put I cut the. It was on a leaf, and I cut it out, and then I found this picture of a lake. Uh. And it has this natural formed mushroom rock in it. And so I thought it really needed a Tim Holtz guy to sit on it. Uh, it's lifted up there. I'll have to glue it down. Anyway, uh, but what you don't see is this. Under this baby, there is a guy that has a long fishing pole. He's standing. He's just a little guy because it's really in the distance. Standing there, but he's got a great big fishing pole. So that leaf worked out just perfect to go over the fishing pole so anyway and so this is a journaling pocket and then that journaling card goes with it and it's got mushrooms on it and it slides in like that so i need to stick it in one of my books so anyway because i want to keep it so but uh um it was just a prompt i think from carolyn's craft tree is where it was so i need to go through this Guys, I have some of these to decorate, too. Uh, that, that's a brand new package, and then I have one that's already opened. So, anyway. Yep, this is just the bucket of all ephemera stuff that I've worked on. Now, those are not... I didn't do those. Those came out of that envelope. So, I did all of this, though, didn't I? These are just little... Oh, I know what these are. These here. Oh, I forgot to show y'all these. These are these are I dropped it, but I caught it because I got quick hands. Dave would tell you I'm handsy. But don't believe anything Dave says. He has a brain injury. So, so I'm trying to make sure I get it on right. These are hidden paper clips. They have hidden paper clips up in them, and these are made with the, these are made with the, um, with the 1917 catalog too. Only that's a, guys, it's a little. I don't know if she's trying to look. Anyway, does that say joy to you? <laughs> that therein is where my weird sense of humor gets me. Uh, that one's just butterflies. There's another girl. This one is a stamp. It's not from the 1917 catalog. There's another girl with some writing. And another one. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of those. So I'll tell you what my plans are. I, I need to do three more of these. My plans are I'm going to make up ten packages That'll be, um, they'll probably be in my little blue bags that I have, but there'll be 10, there'll be 10 packages and each package will have something that I made during the month. And then I will sell them as an ephemera packet. Not, not like the ones that I do for the, um, what is it? The $8, which I do still have some of those. But they're listed on Etsy. But, I mean, that's not a problem. They can still be. But it would just be something I've made. Like, these will go in it. The These will go in it. Um, maybe even some of these little books like that will go in it. Maybe some of these cards like this will go in it. These cards right here are very intensive. Because you have to pick out all that stuff out of them. So, anyway. Um just stuff like that now the atcs won't go in them okay because you're not supposed to sell atcs so uh 
anyway, but yeah. So I'll have that look. And I have money. This was in a this was in a I don't I don't know what it I mean it's blank on the back. It was in a package of crafty stuff that I got. So I got fives and tens. Do I have any and just ones? Ones and fives and tens. So some of those would probably will go in them. I think they're cool. So they they're obviously something that somebody cut out. You can, I mean, they were like rip apart because you can see the perforated edges. So anyway, I think they're cool. So anywho, yeah, that's what I worked on. So I'm going to say bye, and I will see you guys all on tomorrow i'm sure i will see you tomorrow we'll put those in the bucket and maybe we'll work on these tomorrow or maybe we'll do some more in this who knows who knows anyway i, I need to go help dave get a bath because i think we're gonna go to church tonight so we haven't gone the last couple of wednesday nights because he's supposed to stay off of that leg but he's getting around a lot better and the leg is doing a lot better so Anyway, so thanks for coming to see what I'm up to. Y'all know there's always something going on around here. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.